Roofs are constructed in a similar way in Revit as our floors, as well as our walls. Roofs are a variety of different layers of materials put together to make a composite roof. Now to see how these roofs are actually put together, if we go to the architecture tab, we can select on the roof command. It'll ask, where do we want to draw this roof? And we won't really be drawing the roof in, so we'll just stick with the level two and say, yes. Now underneath properties, we have our type selector list. And if we select on the type selector list, we can see all the different roofs that just come by default in Revit. What I like to do is create a new roof based off of one of our existing roofs. We'll start by selecting on the steel truss insulation on metal deck roof. Then click on edit type. And this will take us into the type properties of the roof. From here, what I'd like to do is duplicate this roof. So let's select on duplicate and it's asking for a name for this kind of roof. Now, I'd still want this to be a steel truss dash insulation on metal deck roof, but what I'll do is just delete the EPDM2 and put variable at the end. The reason is, is that we'll create a very similar roof to this roof, except we'll have a variable thickness to one of the material properties in the roof assembly. Now we'll click on OK and then select on the edit button next to structure. Now we're inside of that type of roof, the one we just created with the variable thickness. And here we can see each layer of material inside of this roof. Now, if we need a preview of the way that it'll look in a section view, we can do that by selecting on the preview button in the lower left-hand corner of this dialog box. And this shows us each layer of material, including the one foot four for the structural steel bar joist, and the five inches for the rigid insulation. If we needed to insert in another layer of material, we could do that by selecting on the insert button. If we wanted to delete a layer of material, we could just click the layer of material that we wanted to delete and select the delete key. From here, we can also select what materials are being used in the roof, adjust the overall thickness of those materials, and then we have an option here for variable. And that's what we actually created up here is a variable thickness for our roof. So since we want a variable thickness, let's put a check mark next to the thermal air layer, rigid insulation, five inch. And by assigning a variable thickness to it, it means that we can have a roof drain up there on our roof and have the roof slope down to the roof drain. And it won't be stuck to just having a five inch thick roof in this area. Maybe it'll go down to four inches or maybe even as much as three inches so that it can drain down to that roof drain wherever we'd want to put our roof drain inside of the roof. Here inside of the edit assembly dialog box, you can control the materials and the thicknesses of those materials that make up the roof. Once we have the roof the way that we like it, we can click on OK. We could also click on OK to this dialog box. And at this point, we can see that we have our new roof available to us. And if we wanted to draw it in using our typical roof commands, we could do that now.